Hello everyone. And we are provided with 4x, 3x, 2x, 1x master mix. Uh, we add it to the reaction and the final volume of this reaction is 18 microliters. We add master mix to the final reaction. We also are provided with the concentrations of other components, uh, but the main point here is the forward and reverse primers. Uh, so we need to find the number of primer molecules of a single type. So it's either forward or reverse. And we take forward. We don't need to reverse. We don't need the NTPs, the salt and the tag polymerase. So three micromol micromolar concentration. So now we know the conditions and uh, we can find, for example, for 2x master mix, uh, we have the Mm, concentration of 3 micromolar for primer forward and we also knew the working volume which was 18 microliters and now we can find the, uh, the number of molecules which is n. First we need to define what is 2x and whenever you see 2x uh, 5x, 50x, 100x, uh, it means that you have the concentration, stock concentration. Which is 2 times, 5 times, 50 times or 100 times higher than your working concentration. This x means multiplication, so you multiply it and in, in formula it will look like C stock equals 2 times C work or working concentration and depending on this coefficient you will put it here so this is the place for coefficient in our case for 2x we will have C stock equal 2 times C W Okay, so from now we can put this equation into our formula. So our formula was C1V1 equals C2V2 or C stock, volume stock equals uh, concentration working, volume working. From this we know uh, C stock and we know the working uh, volume and we can find it so we just put CS from this equation uh, so when we uh, change the CS it will look like 2CW times VS equals CW VW and we can get rid of working concentrations and we are left with two mm, stock volumes equal one working volume and we know that from here uh, stock volume will be equal to uh, working volume divided by two or 18 divided by two microliters 9 microliters. So now we know our uh, stock volume and it will be 9 microliters. We also know our stock concentration which is 3 micromolar and from here we need to know the number of molecules. We also know the Avogadro number 
which is 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules per mole and now we have the formula which is mb times number of Avogadro and this guy will be equal to uh, c times v from here we know that uh, 9 microliters times 3 micromolar times 6 times 10 to the power of 23 per mole and we need to uh, represent this microliters and micromolar concentration uh, in liters and molar per liter to be able to get rid of these uh, moles and liters and it will look like 9 times 10 to the power of minus 6 liters times 3 times 10 to the power of minus 6 moles per liter times 6 times 10 to the power of 23 per moles and we get rid of liters and moles and we are left with uh, time 9 times 3 times 6 times 10 to the power of 23 minus 6 minus 6 molecules and it will be uh, 9 times 3 uh, times 3 from 6 it's 81, 81 times 2 uh, 162 and to represent it uh, in a scientific way so 23 minus 12 is 11 and we move the decimal point to here and this will be 13 so we found that 162 times 10 to the power of 13 molecules will be in our uh, 9 microliters uh, 3 micromolar concentrated uh, master mix so the the the, the final answer is 1.62 times 10 to the power of 13 so the physical representation of these uh, equations were uh, this you have your PCR tube and you have your working volume which is 18 microliters so this is working volume and your stock was one uh, was a half and your stock was one half of uh, this working volume and you just add half of your master mix and your other side will be one second of working volume and it will be your solvent in this case so this is the PCR and it is our DNA sample uh, this was for 2x master mix and let's look at the 3x so for 3x it will be the same logics you have your PCR tube uh, you have your working volume you will have one third one third of this volume of master mix and two thirds will be your solvent DNA so if we have 4x master mix the same logic applies you need to divide this working volume by 4 and one part of it will be your 4x master mix 
and three parts will be your DNA. So the last condition was 1x master mix and to find it you you take the whole volume of your master mix so where is the DNA the DNA will be a dried DNA and technically it means that you dissolve your DNA in master mix I don't think it will happen in your real life but you just need to know what is 1x now we're going to find the number of molecules for, for x master mix and it will be It will be your stock concentrations times working volume divided by 4 because of this 4x times number of Avogadro and it all will be equal to uh, 3 times 18 divided by 4 times 6 times 10 to the power of 23 minus uh, 12 uh, and we will be left with 3 times uh, 4.5 times 3 times 2. So this 3 and these guys will make 9 times 9 uh, times 10 to the power of 11. And it will be 81 times 10 to the power of 11. And we place decimal point of here 8.1 times 10 to the power of 12 for 3x it will be 3 times 18 divided by 3 times 6 times 10 to the power of 11 and this will be equal to uh, 36 times 3, uh, 108 times 10 to the power of 11. And this is 1.08 times 10 to the power of 13. For 1x master mix, it will be 3 times 18 times 6 times 10 to the power of 11 and in the whole it will be 324 times 10 to the power of 11 or 3.24 times 10 to the power of 13 so we found all numbers Three point twenty four, one point sixty two, one point zero eight, and eight 